What is going on guys? We are back with another video in Madden 20 franchise. This is week 8 of our online user Titans franchise. We are going against the Packers who are played by Zito who was the Falcons a little bit ago and then in the future becomes the Falcons again a little bit later in the season. It's, I don't know. We traded though for a new running back, Balage, a power back a lot of you guys may know of. And a guy that actually has a little bit of juke move as well. I think if we had him year one, maybe we would have given them the nod over Ronald. Obviously, we wouldn't have had trade for him. But right now, it's just a little bit of a uh, you know a backup for Ronald Jones when he's tired, injured, whatever. Obviously, Jalen Hurd is great too, but his carrying's a little rough. So we're going to have to test him out. But we gave a fourth round next year for him. If it doesn't work out, we could always probably trade him again next season for maybe a fifth. So we would lose a round spot, which isn't terrible. Balazs. Not going to get much on his first carry, unfortunately. Third and ten now, getting really good blocks here. Mariota to the outside, getting a nice fine to A.J. Brown. You know, we convert. So, running kind of almost forced at this point. Yep, that's that's totally deserved to A.J. Brown, right? <laughs> running is uh, basically forced. We're obviously a pass-first team, which is weird to say, but we are. In Batson, kind of showing why we are down to the five-yard line. Looking for the run. We go back to the left side of the field. The freaking tight end, Albert O. Couldn't get the score, unfortunately. Back in the end zone, though. A nice touch pass over the middle. Who the hell was that? I couldn't even see the name. Was it A.J. Brown? Seems like somebody fast, though. Okay, it could have been A.J. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. I don't know. I think it would be A.J. or Batson. Oh, a little trickery early on. Equinemia St. Brown, the giant with some speed. Gets a good six-yard gain. Another trickery play again, basically. RPO to Devontae Adams. Really quick read. Running it better than real life, Rodgers, to be honest. Here, nice throw. Wide open, Jay Sternberger. Looking like a Jordy Nelson. Oh, my God. Jordy Nelson didn't do that very often. Wow. Um, Yeah, that's that's a pretty good truck sticking out there, Mr. Jace. Uh, first and ten, Rodgers looking for someone to throw to. What a damn fine Zito's playing pretty damn well here, but of course, the ball does technically go a little too far out. And here comes a sack from who? Just, I keep calling Justin Simmons for some reason. Jeffrey Simmons, nice. Over the middle on third and 17. The ba base pressure is not great on this team at all. And I was about to say, the best. I don't know why. That's cringe. I'm, I'm sorry. Aaron, jo oh no. We had a cringe on a really good play. Yikers. Unfortunate. Second and ten after a failed run. Big shocker. Corey Davis on the curl route. Gets the play, of course. The new superstar X Factor. Gotta love it. I love it. You love it. Everyone loves it. First and ten rolling out to the right looking for someone open in here. Good instinct by him, but I really thought he was going to cover the main route. That's why I threw it underneath to just get something guaranteed. But you guys could see X was wide. I just thought he would cover that because that was, you know, it was breaking free. It didn't. I think I should just take what I have, not really care about what other people are going to do. Third and five gets the conversion. Jalen Hurd, though, gets a nice first down. I mean, if he doesn't fumble, he's he's more than capable of carrying the load until Ronald's back. And what is that? I don't know if that was a bad throw. What's the story there? But speaking of stories, I had a couple of comments. Well, not a couple, but one comment said something about the audio being a little more powerful in their left ear. I mean, obviously, it could have, what a catch. It could have just been like broken headphones or something. Let me know if there's anything like that ever. It You know, just tell... Yeah, I mean, I would like a truthful answer, but if you're like, bro, the frame rate's really bad. Uh, there's pixelation at some point. Uh, the videos are out of sync. Th that wasn't a good throw, and you shouldn't have thrown that pick. I mean, hey, it is what it is. But, you know, it's a third down. We took a shot. Anything at all, let me know in the comment section before below. I obviously look at all these videos. <laughs> Somebody got to edit them. What a damn find to MVS. I wish... MVS would do that in real life. He, uh, you know, kind of short arm T Rex. Oh my God. A uh, 70 yard touchdown from Rodgers last week, which was cool. I mean, who doesn't want to see it, right? Here on the run command. Really? We played really well, and Kevin Byer, no. But yeah, somebody's got to edit these. It's me. And it might be fine for when I'm editing and rendering. And then YouTube's like, here's your video file, and just. They, it's like they went through the garbage disposal and just threw it. Uh, you know, somebody threw a fork in the garbage disposal. Uh, but there's a really good play to Batson. Trying to find our matchups. And what is that slow cut, Jalen? Eh, please, 
Please don't do that again. Just please. Uh, second and ten, we have the running back, but we also have the Corey Davis. Down to the two-yard line now. Down by seven. This is a really good game so far. Big ol' Alberto gets the touchdown. I'm not going to say his name. I know there's always one dude that's like, his name is Albert Aguan Bong Bong. I know his name. I swear I do. I just sometimes forget it. Apparently, it's Okuwe Bunam. Yeah, that's why I'm calling him Albert O. <laughs> I'm not saying that name unless he becomes an X Factor. I'm just saying it. I'm not saying saying it. Uh, who was that? Was that uh, Jarrell Casey? I think it was a superstar, which he's like the only guy we have on the D-line that's superstar. To the outside, there goes Adori. Speaking of a superstar, please, Adori, become one. Maybe with this pick six he will. I don't know. Probably not, because he's had better games in the past. I think we had a four-pick performance against a division rival, and he was like, nah, mate, I'm not ready yet. I need to be 32 years old, then I'll become a superstar. Here, though, Jair Alexander. Oh, what was that? Was some RKO failed attempt. Jair gets all the way to the 37, and uh, even though they're down by seven, he did a really good job to come back on this one. This play... I don't understand how it's working with EQ. He doesn't have great agility, but he's still finding the lanes and just accelerating. You know, oh, that's not a great face mask, but it happened. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's still very manageable, especially with a great return from Jair. I get, I don't have ADHD, but I very well could because at the same time, I I get distracted quite quickly. And oh my lord, how is that not a fumble? I'm not, it's not even the fumble I care about. It's the freaking sack credit from Harold Landry. We need him to go to a superstar. And playing well is the best way to do that, obviously. And on third down, gets the first down. Really good read. There you go. Who is that? Was that Harold? Yes, it was. My man Harold, second and 18. Adoree Jackson. Can he get up? He could, but his right leg, right foot, half of it was out. I really love these uniforms. I think they're the best on the team by far in here. Mariota with a sling and a half. What a dime. Just just a great arm. Just a great throw by my man, Marcus Mariota. We're just going to take a shot. Honestly, Corey Davis is a beast. Still not ready for primetime. It is against Jire, I will say. But I think it's only star dev Jire, if I'm not mistaken, because obviously we started after the whole X-Factor thing. And... Yeah, he didn't get a development up, so it is what it is. He's still a really good corner, even without the abilities. Third and three. That could be the difference between points. It, you know, it turns into a fourth down. We're going to kick the field goal. It's looking short. My man, Jake Elliott, with a 60-yard bomb from downtown. Not down. I don't know where that from downtown even came. What, what's the history? We have a history of doing that as well, getting ridiculous pass interference calls. But that one... Definitely should have been called. We were we were cheating. Obviously not. Oh, Jesus. Obviously not by choice. That could have very well been caught by Devontae. But really good job by, I believe, Bayard to recover for us. Aaron Jones on the inside. I almost traded for him instead of Ronald. But you think Ronald has a uh, low injury. Aaron Jones had like three or four less. And this RPO, you know, if he would just stick to his game plan, you know, instead of worrying about the scoreboard, I think he'd be in great position. You know, a couple of rough reads where Dory just kind of killed it. I, I can't even really call them rough reads. Dory Jackson's just that dude. I don't know how he does it. He just he just does. I just I don't I, maybe it's because we switch off and you know we we drag him in there cuz I don't see many other teams getting kind of plays like these. There you go, MVS. Jesus. He's having a game probably almost at 100 right by now. First and 10 off the edge. We ran the mid blitz. It's like the only blitz that gets us pressure. It's basically just because it's an overload. We gotta just run more overloads, I guess. Overload, press at the line, and hope the AI, the AI, the user makes a bad decision, or the AI, you know, makes an insane play. Down the middle, couldn't find a guy. The blitz, yeah, it kind of worked. Third and 17 to the outside. The, I, what? <laughs> Excuse me. The tight end just made a play and a half, and back in the end zone, Rogers puts that on the money. It's either a touchdown or a pick. No out of bounds. There's just no in between. It's just that or that. And that's a very harsh PI. I believe he does decline it, but I feel a little bit bad. I, you know, he's he's down by 10. 
we obviously, they wouldn't call a P.I. in real life, but we did enough to where the game rightfully did call it. And then, you know, right after, it's a freaking pick by Hooker. It's rough because obviously he gets the ball at the one. <laughs> Imagine we actually accepted this. How much of a douche would you have to be? Of course, we decline it. We pretty much decline every face mask unless it's, once again, in a game we desperately need. Look at Belage. A game we desperately need or it it actually, in fact, you know, impacted the play there. Face max may, made no sense. But if it's a play where it's Ronald Jones, we get a juke move and instead of breaking that's Oh, good throw. That needs to be caught, pal. And, you know, instead of breaking the tackle, he gets face mask. Then, I, you know, I kind of I might have to just because, it you know, it actually affected the play. And they're almost caught. We're, you know, we're doing pretty damn well against uh, most of the jump ball situations, which is pretty impressive. Over the middle, Jace cannot bring it down. DBs are smothering right now. They're smothering. Third and 10 to the outside. He's going to take a shot deep and then even over Byard's head. What a, what a play by Rodgers there just to miss by a mile. And I know there's going to be some joke because I'm a Packers fan. Oh, that's what you always do. A, a little bit this season. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but he still got the accuracy. The en end of the story, the the regression with Rodgers this year is not seeing the player. Oh, Jesus. We just Our offense sucks. We're not on that big of a part. Yeah, the biggest Packers regression is that Rodgers isn't seeing the field well. But that also could have something to do with not trusting any receiver, not number 17. And, you know, our opponent here, kind of the opposite. Kind of trusting every receiver but 17. Taking a shot to Equinemius, and that's actually intercepted. Who the hell picked that one? Kevin Byard finally gets his hand on one. He felt like he had a chance at a lot this game and finally actually came up with the play. So we're going to come up with a play. Look at the acceleration. Tell me that was Jair. I highly doubt it was, but tell me it was, please. Inside. I mean, you know, when you're blind, you're blind. <laughs> Thank God it wasn't picked. But maybe, you know, this is starting to show us we should take more shots because we can trust our guys to make a play here. Can't trust anyone to get open. Rashawn Gary gets a sack. That's a guy that I would love to see in real life do the same. This is Titans franchise, not NFL talk about the Packers. Okay, let's just put it. Hope they win Monday. <laughs> yeah, but the, let's uh, let's get back on track here. I know uh, it's looking good for us, but we also can't score. So if he can score, it's anyone's game. We're stuck in Terrell Casey. Time to get a pick or a sack from Harold Landry. Number three on the day, I believe. Fourth and 20. Taking the shot deep into double and picked off by Hooker, who's had a really good set of weeks. Trying to take this back. Maybe should have went left, but I didn't see Aaron Jones. I thought we could easily... Broke that free to the right, and we just, I don't know, just simply didn't. Look, get heard. No strip, thankfully. I mean, uh, thankfully. Only up by 10, first and 10 from the 28. And there is our man, Batson. Could be the dagger. Both teams really not showing that they want to win, but we do get that huge touchdown there that, once again, might, might just be enough to pull away completely and, you know, once and for all say that, hey, it's GG. Look at it. Look at what who's oh that should have been picked, but it wasn't. Rashawn Evans. I mean, it could be a soft floater with no one around, and I don't know if I would expect him to catch it. So yeah, something like that. Don't expect him to catch that either. Here taking a shot to Devante in the double. Not really much of a chance. Third and ten from the 25 yard line now. We're playing really good coverage and oh my moist undies. I'm sorry for the vivid, uh, you know, imagery, but that's quite disgustingly good. Speaking of disgustingly good, a Dory Jackson, unbelievable. Rogers with a great tackle. That's pick number three, I believe. What a damn game from him. Harold had a great game. Defense just showed up, and here goes Jalen Hurd just avoiding everybody. Gets the first down to the six. First and goal, Mariota handing off to Balaj. Can he break it? He can down to the five-ish. I think Hurd might actually still be the starter over. Oh, look at this user. And he strips it out. That's a cool animation. I really like that. And now it's going to be third and down to the outside. It's caught, but down to the one-yard line. And, of course, at that point, we didn't need to score. I, I was hoping maybe we could, you know, put it away perhaps because stuff like this can happen. You know, it really hasn't felt like a secure game all game, but... Yeah, you know, we're not going to get there. We're not going to get there. It's probably going to be enough, right? I, I had something else I wanted to say, and then the ADHD that I said I didn't have kicked in. <laughs> just put it, oh, 
get out of the way. Yikes, yikes. Uh, but yeah, Harold Landry, Adore Jackson, Hooker, lots of big names on the defense that have made plays. And there is sack number four. Once again, another overload. We try to bait it. I try to bait the corner outside. Oh, God. That's unfortunate. MVS with a really good game himself. Probably over 100, maybe 25 yards with a touchdown at least. Maybe I said something about Hurd, probably. Hurd should still be the starter over... I just did a beatbox on accident <laughs> over Balage. That's another thing. Do you guys like these style commentaries? I mean... I could easily, don't you, it's not me actually being like completely psychopathic, maybe a little bit, I could be completely robotic if you want, I could literally just talk about the plays, no damn jokes, no ADHD moments, I could just focus so damn hard that I could put a damn hole through my screen with my vision, if that's what you want. You're probably not going to get I ain't, I ain't going to change for nobody. Who do you think I am? You ain't tying me down, girl. That's uh, that's weird, man. That's, that's too far. Aaron Rodgers giving us the death stare. He still played really well. It's just... Uh... Actually, no, he didn't play really well. What am I talking about? There was a lot of interceptions in that game. <laughs> what am I talking about? Still, the user played well, but our corners, they were just off, off the charts. Just absolutely ridiculous. If you watch our Niners franchise... The game where we threw like six picks with Jimmy Garoppolo, which just doesn't normally happen. That's basically what this game was. We pretty much caught every ball thrown to us. I'm expecting maybe not a three breakout performance, you know, player scenario performance, but maybe a, you know, a breakout or two coming up because that was insane. You see that one there? That's, that's insane. Harold freaking Landry. Has a chance to go to Superstar. I, that's all I wanted. I was saying in the chat, in the Discord, I was saying, if I can just get Harold the Superstar, nothing else matters. I don't need another scenario for the next year or two. We're good, you know? Keep him to your... I mean, I want him, but you, I mean, you don't have to. I'm cool. You know, we're cool. But, of course, we do have to re-sign Janu. Not a crazy amount of number names this year. Pretty cheap deal. If you guys enjoyed this video, maybe leave a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, Jerome P. Care. Rebuild tomorrow, I believe, of the Redskins... Enjoy your football, all that good stuff. Hope you come back for next video, but until next video, see ya!